culture eats strategy for breakfast. Management guru Peter Drucker is first known for saying this, but since that time, thousands of people at all levels have adopted this phrase, culture eats strategy for breakfast. And I'm gonna relate it to Georgia Tech football. As you see, Georgia Tech was getting crushed. They were losing and they made a change from Jeff Collins to Brent Key. And it's interesting because I went to Temple University. So I followed their football team and Collins was a star there. He was a great coach. And he decided to go back to his alma mater, go back, come back to Georgia. And it just didn't work out. And you can see how they were getting crushed by football teams. So bring in Brett Key, and he started talking about a culture of trying not to lose, but preparing to win. And now they've won their last two games over teams that were in, on the, basically in paper, uh, uh, better teams than they were. But they came in and they won both those games, beating Pittsburgh and then beating Duke. So when you think about it, a lot of times it's about culture and about even change, even if it's just change to bring somebody new in with new fresh ideas, the team or the leadership comes together and kind of rallies around this and there's a new attitude and there's a new way of winning and a new way of thinking about things. So my question to you today is, have you seen your culture be transformed by leaderships for what it's worth? Thank you.